scammers. The most complicated metro system in the world. Beware of scammers. This transport system is fully scammed. Change the company policy for preying on tourists and randomly retraining everyone. Prague boasts affordable and efficient public transport system, but ironically, it is the biggest cause of distress for tourists, since it looks easy to use, but it is not. First-time travelers in Prague find it surprising that there are no barriers here, like in Paris or London, where they can scan their tickets, because locals have annual passes that they just carry with them. So for tourists, it looks like they don't need to have a ticket, or nobody is going to be checking it. Big mistake. Huge. There's one way Prague takes care of people who don't pay for their tickets. There are ticket inspectors that move in the shadows and wait for the opportune moment to find clueless tourists. And they are breaking records in that, as last year they checked the highest number of people since 2016. 8.33 million people. That's like how many people visit Prague annually. And gave out more than 255,000 fines. That amounted to 227.9 million check crowns that Prague made on fines. And if you think that there is like a horde of thousands of inspectors that is relentlessly checking everyone in Prague, you are wrong. There's just around 150 active ones. So in order to achieve these numbers, they had to check 150 people daily. That's impressive. So much human interaction inevitably brings conflicts. And unfortunately, tourists are usually part of those conflicts. When you scroll through the reviews about Prague, you will find that a lot of tourists complain that they were abused or scammed by controllers in Prague public transport. Me and my partner were cornered by these two scary men, one of which grabbed my boyfriend when we tried to walk away. You might be thinking, well, it's quite normal to be fined if you don't have a validated ticket or you validated it wrongly. But here's the reason why a lot of people think it is a scam. To blend in with a crowd, some inspectors wear normal clothes, not uniforms. Most of them are quite large, intimidating men who will shove a metal badge in your face and say, tickets. As they demand to be paid on the spot, often not politely, tourists think that they're being scammed and try to run away. I agree that this gives off strange vibes and might raise the suspicion that something illegal is going on. A lot of these interactions end in physical violence. So let's look at some historic cases. In 2013 on Prague's Andiel metro station, where else, right Praguers? A boyfriend of a girl beat one of the inspectors who tried to find her. On this video we can see a woman and few inspectors standing at the tram stop. One inspector grabs her by her jacket, uh, she tries to wiggle her way out of it and then the second inspector holds her by her purse. She tells him not to do that, he doesn't care. Then a random man who is eating a baguette says something to her and she starts crying and calls her boyfriend, who then comes and proves to her that he's indeed a knight in shining armor and punches one of the inspectors in his face. So. Who is actually correct and what should you do in this situation? Unfortunately, if you don't have a validated ticket or you validated it multiple times or you don't have it at all, you are at fault and you have to pay the fine. It is true that sometimes inspectors overstep their boundaries. In 2010, a group of them followed a man who refused to show them his ticket. They beat him up and they threw him through the glass window of the metro vestibule. It took poor guy 19 days to recover. That threw a lot of negative light at the inspectors and started started a discussion about what they can and cannot do. So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about their uniforms. Those inspectors who work in the metro are obliged to wear uniforms, but those who work above the ground are not. There is a reason for that. Because the uniforms would make them stick out like sore thumb, and they need their disguise in order to sneak up on people and find them. Otherwise, all the passengers would just spot them immediately and leave the tram if they don't have a ticket. When the inspectors approach you, they have to present a metal batch with a unique four-digit number. You have to have a validated ticket. I will give you a quick rundown of all the ways you can get it later in the video. If you don't have a validated ticket with you or you validated it wrongly, you are at fault and you have to pay a fine. Next, the inspectors will escort you out of the vehicle. 
a lot of tourists start feeling very emotional in that moment. They feel wronged because they bought a ticket, they just didn't know how to validate it correctly. So they expect some kind of compassion from the inspectors, but they won't get it because inspectors get a cut from each fine they give. So the more fines they give out, the more money they get. So please be very careful, don't get too emotional, and for sure don't touch the inspectors, don't throw your hands around, don't yell at them, because that will get you into even more trouble. Sometimes the tourists demand to call the police and when they arrive they tell them their whole story and expect to be safe, but they won't be because the police is only there to identify them. Unfortunately, the best thing you can do is to swallow your pride and pay a fine. You do have some rights though. You can refuse to pay your fine at the spot and ask the inspector to write you a ticket. But then you will have to travel outside of the city center to come here, Prague Public Transport Office, to pay your fine. It might be also bigger than it was initially, but we for sure don't recommend not paying it. Who knows, maybe one day you will be traveling through the Czech Republic again and you will be handcuffed at the airport or get a surprise visit at your hotel room. After reading so many complaints about Prague Public Transport, we can definitely see that there are probably on both sides. Firstly, most tourists who criticize the inspectors are actually the ones to blame because they don't validate their tickets or use the expired ones. On the other hand, we saw that the inspector's approach wasn't always professional and agreeable, to say the least. Obviously, the only way to avoid this problem is to use tickets correctly which is hard to do, as tourists complained about the lack of instructions. It does say on the ticket, passengers are obliged to validate the ticket immediately upon boarding any means of public transport or entering the compulsory ticket area for the first time. But it is very vague to some people. The experience of many tourists with the inspectors was so bad they actually said they will never go back to Prague and will tell their families and friends not to come here. Do you guys think that Prague public transport should try to redeem themselves? and make the rules more transparent, or is it all tourists' fault? Guys, please share this video with anyone who is going to be traveling to Prague in the foreseeable future, because we think it will help them a lot. Just a couple weeks ago, I saw a guy who got into a full-blown fist fight with the inspectors on a tram. And now, as promised, we will share all the ways you can get public transport tickets in Prague. So the easiest way for you guys is to download this app. It's called PID Litachka, and that's where you can buy all of your tickets and they will be already validated. The second option for you guys is to buy a ticket directly on a tram. You can do it with a card and the ticket will be already validated when you receive it. And the third option, which is more old school, is using one of these yellow machines. But before you do, please watch this video.